So what are the biggest differences in the backswing between average golfers and elite golfers? It makes such a big difference. So most golfers are trying to change the downswing or change impact, but actually so much of what goes wrong happens in the backswing and the downswing is a reaction to it. Now, something I see elite golfers do is they get the club moving up the plane. So if you imagine a line drawn from my club head and that one is going through the underneath of my trail elbow and the other one from the heel of the club is going through my trail shoulder, it's making effectively a little bit of a cone shape here. We want that club moving up that plane line. What do we see with most typical amateurs? The club going very much around them early on under plane. So they tend to go around, they realize they can't keep going and their shoulders are working very flat, too much on the horizontal. So they end up having to lift. And as they lift, yes, the club gets nearer the plane line, but look what sacrifices I've had to make. I've had to stand up and out of posture. My shoulders are very flat. And then in the downswing, I generally have to do the opposite and steepen. So good golfers get that club moving up the plane line. Poor golfers tend to go wrong very early in that first movement, in that takeaway movement, that very first movement that controls the backswing. So what I want you to think about is why don't we actually rehearse that first movement working a little bit more up the plane line. So many amateur golfers are waggling the club and they're doing it sort of with wrists this way. It's good to waggle the club, release tension, keep yourself moving, but amateur golfers are rehearsing sort of this type of movement, the club going a long way behind them. Why not start waggling the club this way? See the difference? The club is moving up the plane line. Now, at halfway back, if I was going to halfway back, as a checkpoint, I'd like to see the hands in about the middle of my chest. The club shaft pretty much through the middle of my right shoulder here. The end of the grip will be pointing somewhere close to the ball, ball to target line. Now, the only thing to be wary of when we're trying to do this, it's so easy to try and work the club up, but actually get that lead wrist very cut. So what I want you to try and do as we're working up the plane line is just keep that lead wrist nice and flat for me. So it's the same angle as my lead arm, and that's a real good checkpoint. So I'm just going to hit one. I'm going to keep myself moving. I'm going to work up the plane line with that flat lead wrist. You can see that's very different to this type of early movement that we see. So work up the plane. And then go ahead and pull the trigger. That felt good. That felt good. Very happy with that one. And it's, it's just so, so important. A lot of golfers are just going very flat, very early, causing body movement, causing change in spine angle. Posture is often let, lost. Strike is sacrificed. So start working that club a little bit more up the line. I've just got for you a real simple exercise. All you need, and you can do this at home, is an alignment stick. In fact, I'm going to use two. I lied. One is going to go down on the floor, representing my ball to target line. And another one is just going to go up the side of the golf club here, so I can grip the club and the alignment stick. And the alignment stick is going to go under my lead armpit. And I'm just going to get that sensation that, again, there's some connection of the cane here in that first movement. It's not running away from my body that it would do if the club came early in. So it's working across my lead side. And then as I'm working up the plane line, you'll see that this alignment stick is pointing at the other one on the ground. So in contact here and up. In contact here and up. If I complete my shoulder turn, you see how short that makes my golf swing, how much more connected it is. Whereas we often see when golfers go wrong here and then lift, they end up with a long golf swing, but a lot of poor movements in there. So we actually want to feel tighter, more connected in our backswing. And that's exactly how start working the club up the plane line. I know it's going to help your backswing. If that video does help, make sure you smash the like button. Don't forget to drop some comments below. It's great to hear from you, videos you'd like me to film, and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Cheers, guys.